What's going on guys, Bao here back with some new genetic gladiators, so let's get into this here, we're going to be checking out the PvE event, as you can see here we do have quite a bit of rewards, we do get a mutant at the end at level 100, platinum star reactor tokens, they only gave us 5 jackpot tokens, so I don't know what's up with that, normally they give us like 10, or a little bit more depending on what event it is, but this time they only give us 5, so that kind of sucks. But they did give us a new mutant, which I am going for right now, and then this fight should give us the platinum star also and uh yeah i've been doing a ton of platinums and i'm going to continue to try to get out at least one a day for the next couple days i do have like i think four or five of them already done and i'm going to be making some more because currently i think i have like 12 uh plus this one platinum stars because i think i have 11 this one should give me 12 i might have 13 though i'm not too sure but i have quite a few platinum stars so we're gonna be using those and we're gonna be making up uh, some newer mutants some older mutants because I do have a ton that I still need to, min need to make into platinum so we're gonna be doing those because I don't have as many gold stars as I do platinums which uh, is kind of crazy but I do have to get more gold stars so I have been crafting a lot usually anytime I get on I have been crafting for a good hour or something like that to try to build up stars so that way I could actually get um, bronze stars, silver stars, and gold stars. Of course the gold stars do take a while to actually get and yeah that's usually what I'm usually doing most of the time. I have been making a ton of mutants into platinum so leveling up those mutants takes forever as well and what else have we been doing? I haven't been doing PvP as much just because I've been doing everything else so I didn't really do the PvP season this month which kind of or this week I should say two weeks yeah I think it was two weeks which kind of sucks but I will be doing today which I believe it is only 18 17 hours left on the PvE event or PvP event so yeah we're gonna have to get that done I think currently I'm sitting at at least the token I believe I have so we're going to have to get those 30 fights in to actually get the mutant because that is going to be a new mutant as well and I do need to get that. I got to make sure I get it because I did miss the last one which was the hunter I believe it was. So I got to get this one. Uh, I would have liked to get the extra gold but I just haven't been playing PvP. So I don't know it happens but I have been making a ton of platinums if you guys did not notice. And I'm going to try the rest of this week to put out platinums so currently have five I'm gonna be making um, two or three more after I get this done of course I'm gonna go get the platinum we got this uh, new mutant that we're about to get I am gonna be making him in platinum and a few other mutants depending on whatever the gold stars give us that's basically what I'm basing it off of just because it's all luck I mean I could sit there and breed the same mutant over and over but if I don't get two of them I can't make it into a platinum so we're going to be trying a few different ones and hopefully we'll be able to get it because this one is probably going to take us a little bit of time to get just because we got to get two of them into gold. Well we got to get them to bronze, silver which should be pretty easy because I could waste a ton of those stars. It's just the gold one. I have to get really lucky and get quite a few gold versions to be him because I believe currently I only have like six gold stars so it's not a lot but hopefully I'm able to actually get that done and we will be making a video of PvP I don't know if I want to make a really long video I'll probably speed it up of course but I do have to sit there and play for at least two hours if not more just to get the mutant for this event so that will probably be out tomorrow when the event actually ends because I got to do it now and it's going to take forever to render that thing out. That's another thing I don't like about doing PvP. Usually the videos are pretty long, they're like 20 plus minutes. Anytime you do PvP so they do take forever to upload. I could live stream it but um, I don't know if uh, there's going to be anybody here today. So if there isn't maybe I can just live stream it. We'll see what happens. But that'll be later today. Currently it's like five is really early in the morning but gotta get these done and uploaded so we'll see what happens but definitely for the rest of the week starting today sunday we will be having platinums um i'm gonna try to get them all done so that i can upload them and i won't miss any 
so we'll have a week of platinums um there are a few that i already made as you can see we are using a couple of them well not those two uh, i used a pofis earlier which is one of them um there's a few other ones that i've used that uh we're going to be putting up and then i'm hoping to make the pve event the mutant in this one into a platinum so we'll see how that goes that might take a little bit of time or i make it lucky i don't know it just really depends so we'll see how that goes and yeah i think that's basically about it nothing too much to actually get done besides uh a ton of mutants crafting which takes forever i don't really like the crafting we need to add a way to at least do a little bit more of the crafting because i gotta sit there for hours on end sitting there trying to craft either um star sometimes or i have been using a ton of orbs so usually instead of using level three orbs unless i have them already i usually use level two orbs on my mutants just because they're a lot easier to get one and i have a ton of them well i had a ton of them i had like 40 plus i think currently i'm down to like 20 or 30 so yeah anytime i uh, have to level up uh, two gold mutants i usually just throw level twos on them so that i can get them done right away and made into a platinum but yeah making those orbs and crafting up to them do take quite a bit of time because i gotta craft a ton of level one orbs which i have like thousands of those it's just the time i have to put in to actually get them because you don't always get the exp ones so we'll see how that goes ton of new mutants out although not really liking the new prices on the mutants most of the mutants are really expensive i don't know why they're doing it that way honestly if they were a lot cheaper i would buy them like if they went back to the price they were before i usually bought those because they were pretty cheap and i would buy each one that came out and make a video of it now like the recent one that they put out was like 10 bucks i'm not gonna buy that there's no way i'm buying that that's insane i could buy more gold for that and just buy the mutant because i think it's like three thousand so there's no point and then the other mutants as well do cost more they cost five bucks when they used to cost a dollar 99 so i don't know what they're doing there they need to lower the price back down and then i would actually buy them so i don't know what they're doing with that although they did raise the gold price of the mutants as well i think before they were just under 2k now they're at they're always above 2k so unless you get lucky with like Hawkeye and stuff like that where they have a pack or a sale or something like that. So I don't have as many mutants to get done anymore unless I want to pay five bucks for one, which I haven't been doing at all. So well, I did. I think the last one. No, I didn't buy that. Actually, I think I got it in gold. Yeah, most of them I just go for gold. I could probably just wait up and save for like a month or two and just buy a pack of gold instead. I believe they had a pack recently for like 12k for 20 bucks just buy that instead of buying the mutants and you actually get more gold out of it so yeah I don't know what their pricing thing is right now but it's really bad so whatever they're doing with that they need to drop the prices back down or even out the gold amounts that they're putting in some of the packs or the the sales that they're having hopefully they'll have one pretty soon because I am running low on gold even though I'd get um, I was gonna say a thousand gold every two days it's not quite a thousand I think it's like 800 750 or 800 gold every uh, two days I mean that does help of course but the <laughs> prices of the mutants since they went up it uh, doesn't help too much plus we've been having a ton of evil sales so hopefully we get another evil sale and I could actually get my evil up to 160 because currently at 153 and I do want to get that thing up. And uh, as you can see there, we just went under 2K passes. So that's another thing that really, really sucks with the gifts. For some reason, I don't get as many passes as before. I'll get a thousand gifts, maybe even more. I won't even get 100, 200 passes. So I don't know, especially with the amount of uh, platinums that I have to get done, like the amount of passes I have to use I use like 40 or 50 to level up the well I use way more than that but I use a ton of passes to level up both of the mutants to level 30 and I don't get that much back a day so my passes have been dropping slowly at some point I am gonna run out so 
Yeah, and I still haven't cleaned out my friends list, which I really, really need to do because I need to add in more people. So I gotta get that done at some point. It's just I'm playing a ton of different games, trying to get them uploaded, trying to figure out a schedule to upload as well. If you guys have not noticed, I have been trying to upload a lot more. So yeah, we're just trying to get all that done as well as play a ton of different games. And I do want to start streaming again. It's just a lot harder to get done since uh, usually I'm not here alone or I'm getting on the computer when everyone's coming home. So yeah, I don't know. It's just uh, a lot harder to stream. So we'll see how that actually works out. But uh, yeah, definitely let me know what you guys think of the mutants, what mutants you guys want to see as well in Platinum. Because I'm going to be going for a ton of them. I think currently I'm getting close to that 100 platinum mark. I don't know, at some point I'm gonna have to count the mutants that I have in platinum to see how many platinums I actually have. I believe I'm coming up on 100 at some point because I was well over 50 a while back and I've been doing a ton of them lately. Plus the 12 stars I have now that should at least get me really close to 100. If not over 100, I'm not too sure if I'm over 100, but we will have a week of platinums. So look forward to that and we'll see if we can actually get more. If I can get at least eight out of the 12 stars done, I'll do eight, uh, eight more stars, including the five that I already have done. So maybe if I can get uh, a couple more done, we could have at least like two weeks of Platinums, one a day for like two weeks. So we'll see how that goes. But if you guys do definitely want to see any of them, just let me know and I'll try to get those. Not guaranteed because whatever comes out in the gold stars what I have to use but uh, yeah that's gonna be about it for this one definitely we'll try to get the mutant out of this one to gold and then hopefully get another one into gold and make that into a platinum but that's gonna be about it for this one thing as we're watching hope you enjoyed hopefully the next event has something I will make a video of that the PvP I will try to get back on to every time I wanted to do PvP I just didn't do it I don't know why I'll try to make videos for that because I know people like watching it but that's going to be about it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. If you didn't make it this far, and we'll talk to you guys later.